Now you might be asking yourself, what are the three best no-code builders I can use right now? Because WordPress sucks. Let's be real, WordPress is not that fun. Lucky enough, you've come to the right place because I've only used no-code after I tried a WordPress website about three years ago and I hated it, just like apparently I hate my mic because I hit the heck out of the mic stand. Number one, super.sl. So super is something that I used on my website for a long time. If you've seen anything old wise, it's a weird thing to say, old video wise where I reference the Rise Productive podcast or the Rise Productive website or anything that has the website associated to it, you're gonna be like, oh, that looks different like the current one. And that's because this is what I used to use until I switched to a different no code option. That is my favorite that you're gonna see at the end of this video. But first of all, what super is, is essentially a base of software that comes through using Notion. So you see is a very well-renowned software. I really liked it for a long time. I just switched it based on my needs. And you can see, you basically just build with a Notion and then you'll see some really beautiful websites here. So if I pull up a couple of examples, I mean, optimization is a Notion agency and they have a really nice looking website here. I mean, it's, it's nice. Um, this, I know Copy AI is one of the companies that has worked with them and like all these brands that have used, it's a, it's a solid brand. Um, we got another really cool one here, which like there's this sidebar option that you can work with. I think this is a pretty nice website. Uh, something that's a little bit more basic uh, would be this one, but still like totally fine to work with. This is something that was extremely nice to use. I'm a Notion guy, so it makes total sense that I would try this out. And it was really great. The only thing I will say is that it's not as customizable as other options, but still, like if you wanna have a nice solid looking website, just something like one of these, you can get it for $12 a month. And then the pro version is like a little bit more advanced, not necessarily needed. Um, I only use the personal plan. Number two is Popsy. So this is actually someone who reached out to me and they're not sponsoring this video or anything, but they're a cheaper option than super.so and they're really nice as well. We look at some of the examples here. Uh, we got this like web three template, watch a demo of it. You see it has very nice basic CSS, totally easy to use. I, I just love website builders that make it so simple. I think the future is on no code. There's a bunch of different illustrations that they're letting you use right here, which is really nice. And even all these illustrations themselves have different color variations that you can use, which is really cool. It's even worth it for a lot of these website builders to just do it for a personal portfolio because it makes it seem like you're better at, you know, everything when you have a personal website, especially when you're like applying to jobs and stuff. It's just nice to have one. When you when it shows you have a personal website, they just go, oh, look at that. And it's like, yeah, this guy can do that. I'm pretty sure he can or she can or they can do what I'm looking for because they're, they're a smart person. They made something happen without being taught. And then the last one is Type Dream. So Type Dream might be the most expensive or eh, sort of expensive of the above. You kind of need the pro plan if you want to use a lot of the great integrations of it. And that's what I use, but it is the best looking one by far. I mean, you'll see that I have some inspiration from uh, some of the templates here and it is just so beautiful what you can have here. Like here's an example of a portfolio site built on Type Dream. So it's like one step up from what else we were working with. I mean, this is just, it's got amazing animations. I think the animations here are really nice. I like the way that you can move within this platform and it does work really well. I'm sure they, I think they built their own website using their own website. So sometimes companies don't do that, which is a little odd, but no, it's, it's amazing. Uh, this company has definitely changed my entire website layout. The amazing part about it personally, is that you do have Notion integrations where you can like show form submits as well, uh, display data from Notion websites, uh, database items. So that's like how I'm having my blog come through on there. That's how I'm having a lot of stuff come through on there. It's how I have courses. It's pretty much a upgraded version from the super website because I'm using that same database structure in the back end to allow things to show, uh, plus with the hyperlinking and stuff. And this software has continued to improve. I'm in the Slack community that shows a lot of the roadmap and it's really awesome. I mean, this has actually significantly increased my conversion rates on all of my templates because I have beautiful pages like this one. I mean, this, just the fact that you're able to scroll through, it has animations. The only thing it doesn't have is like hovering on it. it doesn't really give you CSS. You have to do like 
some custom script to make this happen. But for now, it, it, it's just working really well and they're moving forward with CSS updates in the future. And once again, if you want to get the Notion app system, make sure to get it right now. And just even nice drop downs like these with animations are so pretty and so nice that it makes up for the lack of like button hover CSS. Just like you'd make up for the time you're wasting watching this video if you didn't want to look at websites by watching this video on how to improve your productivity even more.